Welcome to Radio Studio Operations. There are two studios. Studio One has the control room in a separate studio where the host and the guests sit. Studio Two is a single person operation. This is the control room in Studio One. Here is where the audio engineer controls the sound coming from the studio and other audio sources. This can be recorded or it goes over the airwaves. Here on the audio board, you have a bank of faders which control the input and the output of each microphone and external audio sources. Below that, you have your designated channels, one, two, three, etc. For each channel, it has its own off or on or what we call hot button for each individual microphone or audio source. Unlike the audio board you see in the TV studio or at a music concert, the audio board in the radio studio does not have a master fader. Each fader acts as its own master. Here in the studio is where the magic happens. This is where the host and their guests do the show. The host should always sit at the head of the table with their guests to the left and to the right. The host should always have line of sight to the audio engineer for cues. Each guest should be assigned to a specific microphone and should do a mic check so that the audio engineer knows which mic is hot and its level. There is a time clock in both the studio and in the control room. The host should always keep an eye on the engineer for time cues and how much time is left in the show and when to wrap up. This is studio number two. Here you can produce your own radio show, live stream, or podcast. The studio is a one-person operation and all the equipment works the same as in the main studio. This has been Mega Evitz College Radio Control Room Operation. Always practice before your show. Good luck on your next production.